on no microphone. All right. <laughs> Greetings, faculty, top of the morning staff, howdy, Mr. Algio, and aloha, Mr. Talbot. <laughs> and of course, brothers, comrades, buddies, chums, amigos, classmates, brothers in Christ, sons in St. Augustine, and grandsons in St. Monica. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the Melbourne Prep Funniest Speech Contest 2015. <laughs> but seriously guys, these speeches are usually just an opportunity for kids to come up here and make a string of loosely connected and barely relevant jokes instead of actually presenting any content or issues. I find that distasteful and, you know, downright clownish. And that's why I plan on changing that starting next year. <laughs> Let me begin by introducing myself. Hello, my name's Ted Holler, and I want to be your president. I will now tell you about myself so as to build a personal relationship with each and every one of you in this 500-person crowd. This is the part of the speech where I was going to mention the fact that I've been here since 6th grade and have never missed a single day of school, but I decided to remove it to keep myself from seeming arrogant. So I won't even bring it up. In case you didn't hear me, the thing that I'm not bringing up is the fact that I've been here since 6th grade, which is when I started my streak of never missing school. Alright, next thing about me is, I was on a sport team once. In my freshman year, I competed on our Olympic weightlifting team, as you can probably tell just from the stature. Back in my prime, I held many records in my weight class that consisted of solely me. <laughs> and those records held up for months on end, until Mr. Miller allowed middle schoolers into the program. <laughs> anyway. When I first sat down to write this speech, I immediately called to mind all the wonderful orations that we've heard in chapel over the years. So forgive me if I, oh, from Father Flynn and various others. So forgive me if I bear any resemblance to those. President, coming from the Latin term president, which translates to president. <laughs> A good president should hold three virtues, and these are the three most important virtues, I'm sure you've heard of them, truth, Unity, and the element of surprise. <laughs> but you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> and you know, as Malvern goes through all these new changes, with all this technology and the wonderful 21st century learning, I can't help but pause and ask myself sometimes, whatever happened to predictability? The milkman? The paper boy? The evening TV? <laughs> sometimes you just miss your old familiar friends, but they're waiting just around the bend because everywhere you look, there's a heart. There is a heart. Alright? Someone who needs you. Someone who loves you. And when you're out there and you're feeling all alone, don't you worry, because a light is waiting to carry you home. To Malvern Prim. <laughs> Special thanks to John Stamos and Bob Sager. Okay, and here we go. The big question. Well, why should you vote for me? Sure, I may be grossly unqualified, and ill-prepared, and narcissistic, <laughs> and incapable of any thought not concerning myself, and short, and, and to all those, I say, moving on. I've got big plans for us next year. It's gonna be good. Charity drives will be the most charitable and the most driven around town. And I can tell you right now, the mandatory student council events of next year will be the most fun you'll ever be forced to have. <laughs> I promise you that you'll enjoy them, not because you want to, but because you have to. <laughs> That's what mandatory means. <laughs> and if all these wonderful reasons aren't enough, I have a proposition for you. All right? If I win, you know, as you know, I'm a big fan of dress code. You probably know that guy's up to devout believer. I pride myself in being up to code at all times. I'm actually uh, wearing Malvin Polo right now. <laughs> <laughs> and so, here's a proposition. If I win, for every vote I receive, I will wear this Malvern Polo for one consecutive hour. 10 votes, 10 hours. 50 votes, 50 hours. I'll wear this polo straight. <laughs> Kind of, well, incentive. 
Got it? <laughs> and now, brace yourselves for a closing line that may be worthy of even, dare I say it, the great Caleb Cal himself. Vote for me, Ted Holler, ballot number three, so together we can make next year a hootin' hollerin' good time! <laughs> I hate myself for that. <laughs>